very neat. So, I thought I would show you all my Solstice Altar. Um, I just kind of reorganized a couple of things, but this is basically how it's looked the entire month. <laughs> um, so, we'll just start over here. So, I have my copy of Priestess of Avalon by Kathy Jones. I still need to fix it. It's like, as you can see, like, sections are starting to come out of my book. So I have to tape it in. Um, you can tell it's been well used. <laughs> but yes, so got that here. Um, once this candle is gone, I'll be using this candle from Smyrnix that she sent me clear back at my birthday. Um, but it's this vibrant red and it's so pretty. Um, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Then I have my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new goddess wheel that I got from the um, goddess temple in Gladstonebury, and you can turn it to see the different um, seasons. And so currently I have it on the winter solstice. Um, so then over here I have my priestess candle. It's blue and awesome, and it's from Joey Morris. Her shop is Starry Eyed Supplies, so definitely highly recommend. Love these candles. Um, I have this, like, I had this at my winter solstice last year, but it's like a geode that's like sparkly inside and white, and it's just so pretty. Like, I don't know if the sparkles are gonna really show up much, but it's like super sparkly. And it reminds me of snow, so I was like, alright, we'll stick it there. Then I have this, which reminds me of the crone. It's just a twig I found in my yard, like, a couple years ago. But I've always included it. Um, then I have my healing cauldron, again from Joey. It's not what it's for, but that's what I've been using it for. Then I have a stick of cinnamon for, again, solstice. I have my um, goddess candle, which, again from Joey, but it's awesome. I love it. Again, I don't remember what the flavor was, but it's purple, which is all I really cared about. <laughs> I wanted a purple candle. Um, then I have this super, super basic goddess figure that I made for the winter solstice. I tried to make it look like she was wrapping a cloak, like a cloak around her for the winter solstice and just all puffed up because like that's what you do in the winter. like. Jackets are so awkward. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I made that out of some, like, sand, dirt, soil stuff that I found. Um, so I have that. Then I have my triple goddess. It's actually like a tea light oil burner thing. But um, the glass is just kind of nasty. And I haven't figured out how to clean it really. Um, like, it's so evaporated and, like, the hard water stains are just a mess. And I used to have the cauldron in there, but it was just kind of awkward to, like, contend with. So instead, I put this selenite piece that, um, again, Smyrnix sent me in the center, and it just looks like snow. Like, it looks like a mountain covered in snow. Um, but I have the crone, which I don't think you can see, facing out. Um, so then here I have the, <laughs> again, I have my prayer beads from Joey. Um, that she made for me, and that I bought, like, a couple of months ago. Really love those so much. Oh my god, like, if you're debating on getting the, any prayer beads and you want custom made, um, highly, highly, highly recommend hers. They're so amazing. Um, so then I have my stick. <laughs> so I burned this end, which you can't even see. See, the end is burned off a bit. Um, well, black end. From Samhain, I haven't decided what I'm doing for the winter solstice yet, but each year I just kind of want to add a new something something. Or, year. Each Sabbath as I go around, so eventually I'll be adding something. Um, then I have my red thread with little bells on it um, in a circle. Sometimes I do spirals, sometimes I do circles, but since I'm on my moon time, this is like the moon time little center here. So I have my red goddess figure here with a red candle and a moon holder thing. 
going that I light whenever I'm on my cycle, so I have that going. I always add this red goddess um, statue. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> like, I thought it would be better, but I don't know. Can you tell it's like really red? But anyways, um, so I always add this goddess figure to the altar when I'm on my cycle. So she is up there for now. And then this candle. So when this candle is gone, um, I'm going to be burning this humongo one for my cycle and just reigniting it every time I'm at the altar just as kind of a, hey, guess what? I am gushing blood. Let's honor that with some candles. Um, I mean, it's obviously a lot more than that, but that's kind of the basics. So yeah, that, and then the altar cloth is just a scarf that has some black and uh, silver kind of sparkly material. Thought it was kind of appropriate for the winter solstice because like the Yuletide celebrations are over for me and so now it's just kind of that stillness of winter and just kind of waiting it out until the spring kind of hits. Like right now we're kind of in the cold snap of like the two weeks or so where it's like really freaking cold for Utah. Like North Dakota and South Dakota like I've been seeing people posting like their temperatures in like Wisconsin and Michigan and I'm just like oh my god why do you live there it's so cold like we're complaining because it's like 23 degrees and there's this like negative like 23 degrees and I'm like oh my god why would you even live there it's so cold like there's many reasons I love living in Utah our weather is one it's not that cold um but yeah so it's our cold snap for a minute and then it'll start warming back up to like 40s 30s and 40s, um, which will be nice. And then we'll be moving on to in bulk, and I'm so excited. Um, oh, and then I almost forgot. Over here, I have all of my um, poster card things, <laughs> whatever they're called. Um, so up here, I have the kind of priestess one that represents priestesshood for me. Then I think that one's just called Goddess of Air. That one's Danu by Tiana, um, oh, I can't remember, it's, her name is hyphenated, um, but this one's called Stillness, um, like Yule Stillness or something like that, or Solstice Stillness, it just barely came out, like, I think this year or so, but, um, or they just completed, like, this artwork through the wheel, but it's so pretty, my camera phone is so not doing it justice, and there's the expanded, of the one that's on this wheel um, by Wendy Andrews. You can kind of see it a little bit better there. But that's just kind of the bigger expanded version. And then I have my card for the year up there. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to change that out with each of the seasons. The Samhain ones are currently in my mess table. <laughs> I've been cleaning. Um, like, I'm taking this whole wardrobe thing out of my room, so it's been a disaster. <laughs> but I wanted to show you where my little altar is sitting currently as I rearrange the entire house. Like, literally basement all the way up. Like, it's been just so much fun. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, that is my winter solstice altar, and I will show you when I change it at some point for the, um turning of the wheel. So thank you for watching and blessed be.